What's up, Peak Timers? We've got three brand new premium Hot Wheels Fast and Furious sets. Let's go ahead, take a look at them, and then open them up. The first set that we'll look at is the Fast and Furious Full Force set. As you can see, listed right here on the first card. We'll check out the back so we can see all the cars that are included in this set, as you can see right there. But let's go ahead and start opening up car number one. Car number one of five from the Full Force set is the 1995 Mazda RX-7 and I really really like this design when it came out on this RX-7 and I believe it was I think Ludacris was the one who was driving in this car in the first race the first big race of the Fast and Furious movie uh, from the first one but there we go check it out I love that design on the side of it looks really really cool we got these like chrome mesh wheels on there and then it kind of just looks like it's going fast just look at that cool design from the front end we got some nice graphics. Uh, I think it's the Mazda logo right there on the front. Good details for the front headlights. Nice details even painted for fog lights right there. And it's all nicely painted on the back. I mean, obviously this is a premium vehicle as all these cars that we're gonna look over today. So we're gonna see some great details on them. And car number two is the 2017 Acura NSX Fast and Furious premium car, as you can see right there. Very cool looking color on this one. It's a nice looking silver. And as I always say about silver cars, Silver shows the lines of a car very, very well. So you can see all the details and the cuts and edges, especially the NSX. It's got a lot of different angles and stuff on the front end of it. So I think it's actually a really good looking car. It's kind of a love it or hate it for people in real life. A lot of people don't like the comeback of the new NSX, but I actually think it looks pretty cool, pretty nice. And we've got these nice blacked out wheels on there. You can see the axles are still left in silver. It's kind of an interesting touch on the wheels itself for this 2017 Acura NSX. Car number three of five is the 1971 Plymouth GTX. This one's all blacked out with some interesting striping on the front end. Let's go ahead and have a look at this one. And there we go. We can see it's a nice gloss black color. And then interesting touch to the wheels. The wheels are actually like a deep dish wheel. And they're kind of a colored inside, but then we've got this big chrome lip around them and there we go we can see that touch to the front end it looks like we've got some like kind of odd looking square painting on the front but actually i think it looks pretty decent it gives it a good touch to it, it almost looks like a like the striping from the corvette grand sport like one side but oversized on it but still nonetheless very very cool we can see the nice details right there on the front end and on the back of course nicely painted in there so great looking detail love the gloss black on this car and car number four or five is the jaguar xesv project 8 one of the longest names for a hot wheels car but there we go great looking color on this one and we got the jaguar logo all down the side let's go ahead and pop open this one here we can take a look at it here we go and I like this. This is nice looking. It's kind of like a, almost like a turquoise, turquoise this blue color. Sorry, I almost lost my thought right there. But there we go. Nice looking car. Carbon fiber look like type of roof on there. And then we have the SV written on the front. So nice looking graphics and stuff. Good detail on this one. Definitely a lot better than we got on the mainline ones right there. Blacked out wheels on it. And there you go. You can see that little Jaguar just coming out from the side right there. Really, really nice big oversized wing on it and then obviously we've got the nice details right on the rear of this Jaguar great looking car really love this color of it and car number five of five from this set there we have it the 1970 Dodge Charger RT Dom's Charger really really cool looking car just one of the nicest cars in the Fast and Furious movie absolutely love this one it's just an absolute beast of a vehicle let's go ahead and pop it open and get a close-up look at it and there we have it so it's like it's like a matte black finish to it which is uh, just like the movies and then you can see just the really cool looking big wheels and tires and obviously all of these cars real riders as you can see nice looking tread and stuff on there but great detail on this one and there's that big oversized engine right on the front for Dom's charger and you guys remember this in the movie just a beast of a vehicle love the Dodge Charger and our next set is the Hot Wheels premium Eurofast set from Fast and Furious and there we have our our first car from it and we'll take a look at the cars on the back as we do first we've got Aston Martin Lamborghini BMWs Wow McLaren just a great looking set let's go ahead and get to car number one 
And our first car from the set is the Aston Martin DB5, car number one of five. Just love the graphics on this car. Just check out that Aston Martin right there. And let's go ahead and pop this one open right here. Get a nice detailed look at this. We've seen this car actually as a premium before and in the main lines, but nonetheless, we can't argue that it's a gorgeous looking Aston Martin. And as you can see this one, it's kind of in like a grayish, like gloss color right here. We've got the classic mesh wheels on there and there's that nice big chrome grill just right on the front end of this car right here and then on the bottom right here nice and shiny on there it's kind of uh, not like a full chrome but a nice looking metal nonetheless but overall Aston Martin DB5 what a classic car from the Fast and Furious movie I mean also might be more popular and well known in the James Bond's movies but still nonetheless a great car and our next car from the Fast and Furious Eurofast set is the McLaren 720S. You guys might remember this from the Hobbs and Shaw movie. Wow, McLaren 720S, one of the coolest new supercars ever made. But let's go ahead and pop it on open and take a look at this one right here. I mean, the artwork on there, the artwork on all of these ones is just fantastic. Here we go. Let's have a look at this one right here. Nice looking, kind of like a subtle gray, almost got like a greenish tint to it. Yeah, it is a slightly green as well. And and this one we've got really cool blacked out wheels on there just really really like the look of these wheels they match this car very very nicely great looking details you can see in the front end with that dual exhaust nicely painted right there all the way down the front and back right there great looking car just check that out check out the nice details on the front end of this McLaren 720s this is definitely one of my favorites from this set and just when you thought it can't get any better, we have the Fast and Furious Lamborghini Aventador Coupe. And oh my gosh, I absolutely love the Lamborghini Aventador. One of the coolest cars ever made. Let's go ahead and pop open this Aventador Coupe on there. Just so aggressive looking on this card as the Aventador is. And there we have it. And this one's in kind of like a matte satin, uh, very like dark gray finish to it. And just check out those wheels. Those wheels look so good. Like very, very, very nice. I really, really like that. Although I have to say, if you look at them, they're maybe slightly indented. I mean, you it would look to have them stick out a little bit more just to make it look a little bit meaty and beefier. But still, nonetheless, when you display this one, you can still make it look really, really cool. And we love to see these premium Hot Wheel Lamborghinis. There's a lot of premium Hot Wheels Lamborghinis that they've made, but nonetheless, we gotta love it when they come out with an Aventador in the premium style. And one of two BMWs from the set, we've got the BMW M3 E36 in black. Let's go ahead and open this one up and get a look at this one. And this is kind of what started off making the M3 very popular. I still think that the one before this one was not as popular, but the E36 was just a great car. And there we have it in this nice glossy black color. And just check out that classic BMW front grille right there. I mean, obviously on the newer ones, they've made them really big and kind of ugly looking in my opinion, but these old classic E36s and E90s and all that are just great looking BMWs. And check out those chrome wheels on there. Very period correct right there and nice looking details on the rear end, that little BMW logo, the M3 logo. I can't wait to display this car. And another BMW, this one, the E46. And wow, this one's even better, I think, than the E36. It's just great looking. I think the color and the wheel design on this one is just top notch. Let's go ahead and have a look at this one right here. This is just such a great set. I really, really do love this Euro Fast set from Fast and Furious Hot Wheels. And there we have this white one right here. There it is. Wow, those wheels, they just look great. Like I thought those Aventador wheels looked good, but I think this, these, these wheels just look even better on this car. And there we go, we got the BW logo, the M3 logo, the nice painted lights on there, black interior on this one. And there is that great detail on the front end of this car. Cool looking lip as well, just right on the front end of this. Wow, it's hard to pick which one is my favorite in this set. They're all so good on this set. And our next set is the Hot Wheels Premium Fast and Furious Quick Shifters set. And we've got a bunch of really cool looking cars in this one as well. We'll look on the back of it to see all the ones we've got. We've got a Skyline, an NSX, a Cuda, a Corvette, and of course this S2000. Let's go ahead and start opening them up. 
And the first one we open up is this Honda S2000 in pink. You guys remember this one from the movie? Because I definitely do. Wow, looks great in the pink color. Uh, it's kind of fitting for an S2000. I don't know. I don't know. Some people might get triggered by that statement. But hey, I think the S2000 in pink. It just reminds me of the movie and it looks really cool. And there we have it right there. You can see it right here. Check out all the graphics on the side. Wow, look at the detail on that one. The white interior on this one as well. Nice looking detail on the front end of it for those headlights and everything. Cool looking chrome mesh wheels. Of course, the real riders on this one. Even got the pink base on there to match the top of it, which is really, really neat. And the big spoiler on the back of this Honda S2000. A car that was very popular in all of the Fast and Furious movies, it's the Nissan Skyline GTR. This one's the BCN R33, as you can see right here. Love the color on this one and really, really cool looking wheels. Let's go ahead and pop it open and get a nice look at this one right here. And there you go. Just check out the top color right there, how it kind of blends right through and kind of meshes with that bottom silver. And there's these wheels. And I just love these wheels. These wheels we're seeing in a lot more newer cars. Uh, we saw them before and they are just fantastic. Great, great looking wheels. I can't wait to see those on more cars in the future. And there we go, nice details on the front end. And just check out that design feature that they have that kind of runs through right through the car. And there we go on the back, we've got nice details for the lights. And there's that little exhaust that comes out. And of course we've got real riders and these ones are slicks so it can drift around. And car number three of five from the quick shifters, we've got the 2003 Honda NSX Type R. This one in black. Let's go ahead and have a look at this one. And there we go back to the original body style of the NSX and this one nicely in black and check out those wheels. Again, the wheels in all of these cars are just so good. I don't know what it is. I'm just obsessing over the cool looking wheels that they've got in all of these new premium cars. And this one's black with the red interior. So it is uh, similar to what it would be in real life. And there we go. We've got the uh, Honda logo right on the front right there. So you can call this the Honda NSX or the Acura NSX as we do in North America. So whatever you want to call it, either way, you're right. And there we go. We have on the back, Cool looking details right there. Nice looking license plate right there. The dual exhaust on there. There's the nice glossy black base with the uh, real riders on there that are slicks as well. Just a really, really cool overall looking car. And car number four of five, we've got the 1970 Plymouth AAR Cuda right here. Check that one out. And a lot of people ask me what my favorite muscle car is, and I always say the Plymouth Hemi Cuda. So maybe not the AAR Cuda, but the, the Cuda that has the Hemi engine in there. But the AAR one always has like a cool looking paint job on there. So let's go ahead and look at this one. You don't really see the AAR Cuda in a black, but this one's like a black and it's almost like a, a very dark gray color. And then the classic AAR style Kudas, you have that kind of striping that comes up the side and then has that little Kuda logo just right there. And this one does have a chrome colored lip on the wheels right there. And then they're black deep, di deep dish wheels, but they're kind of small, but it, it kind of looks cool. I really do like that. And then we got a matte finish on the hood right there. So that's a different paint from the side, which is all glossy all around black interior on there. And definitely now that I look at it more, I feel like it is more of a dark gray than it is a black. So it's hard to tell with the lights right here, but nonetheless, the Plymouth AAR Cuda. And in my opinion, we saved the best for last in this set. I absolutely love this car. The 1965 Corvette Stingray Coupe red with big blacked out wheels and almost looks like it's got a wide body kit on it. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and have a closer look at it. And I just love the color of this one. I just love that gloss red color on there. The only thing I wish it was in the movie, it, I wish they had the split window, the 63 split windows. That one looks even cooler. But still, nonetheless, this body style of Corvette is really, really nice looking. And I, I just love, just love the wide body. Just check that out. Check out the wide body on here and very, very customized out, but just an aggressive looking car. It's one of the coolest designed Corvettes of all time. So you guys let me know if you like this one as much as I do. In the comment section down below, let me know which was your favorite car from this Hot Wheels Euro set. I'm having a hard time picking. There's just so many good cars in these sets. 
What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. This is the brand new Hot Wheels Fast and Furious set, which is a Walmart exclusive set in the United States. This set includes five different castings from various Fast and Furious movies, including the 2015 Mercedes AMG GT from The Fate of the Furious, Nissan 370Z from Fast and Furious 6, McLaren 720S from Hot Hobbs and Shaw, Lamborghini Gallardo LP560-4 from Fast and Furious 6, 1969 Ford Torino Talladega from Furious 7. Let's start it off by opening car 1 of 5, the Mercedes AMG GT from The Fate of the Furious. This one is gray with a nice black stripe down the center. Let's go ahead and pop it open and get a close up look of it. And here it is for the first time. You can see that gorgeous looking gray, those nice glossy blacked out wheels. We got some great detail from the front end right there, that Mercedes logo, nice tampa work. There's that stripe down the center. We go to the back, not a lot of detail on the back, but still the casting is very, very nice. It's a great, well done casting. Now let's open car number two of five. It is the Nissan 370Z from Fast and Furious 6. This one's yellow with those blacked wheels. Let's go ahead and pop it open and get a close up look at this one. And you can see that very bright yellow, nice glossy black wheels as well. Great tempo work from the front end. This is such a classic design sports car. You can see it's very nice lines. We look in the back looks really nice as well and there is our Nissan 370Z. And car number three of five, my personal favorite from this set is the McLaren 720S from Hobbs and Shaw. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. This is actually the fifth color variation of this casting to Hot Wheels. You can see gorgeous looking sparkle gray paint job. Again, those glossy black wheels which we've been seeing on all of these castings so far. Great detail from the front end of this casting and that nice blacked out roof on there. And there it is from the back. I absolutely love the McLaren 720S. Moving on to car number four of five, the Lamborghini Gallardo LP560-4 from Fast and Furious 6. This one in white with those silver mesh wheels. Let's go ahead and open this one up. And this one is in a nice glossy white color and you can see those nice silver wheels on there, the mesh looking wheels. There is your Lamborghini Gallardo from the front. Nice tampa work, the little Lamborghini logo you can see right on the front end right there. Great detail on the back says the Lamborghini. It's got the lights on there as well. Just an all around great casting. Last but not least is the 1969 Ford Torino Talladega from Furious 7. This is the only muscle car in this set. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. And this one's a really cool looking color, very sparkly. You can see all those sparkles in the lights right there. I really like these wheels as well. They're kind of a matte finish wheel on the inside of black. And then it's got the nice silver outlining of it as well. Check it out from the front end. We can see that big grill right there. Moving around to the back end as well. You can see that kind of fast back look of this Torino Talladega. comments section down below make sure you guys let me know which was your favorite casting from this set and don't forget to hit that like button and i'll catch you guys on the next one bye bye what's up peak timers phil here from peak time racing back with another peg hunting video and i am just walking towards the front entrance of my favorite walmart the one where i found the ultimate bone shaker the 10,000 dump in and i seem to be coming here now like once a week because they always seem to restock this place so i'm here on a tuesday and i'm here earlier than i usually am so i'm hoping that they restocked on Monday night and I'm here to discover what they put out and we'll see what we can find I'm I don't know what I'm really looking for I'm just kind of looking for anything random anything interesting there's a lot of new sets that I don't have yet so let's head on inside and let's see what I can find
All right, walking up to the aisle, we can see first off, it looks uh, not too bad, fairly stocked with new stuff. And check this out. These are the new Hot Wheels monster trucks. And notice it doesn't say Monster Jam on them. That's because Hot Wheels lost the license to Monster Jam. So we're gonna see monster trucks, not monster jams. Check out these box sets right here. Really, really nice. We've got this new action power shift raceway. That one's pretty cool. I haven't got that. And check out the stock of cars. We have got a ton of Hot Wheels cars fully stocked. This looks like maybe a few people might have gone through it, but there we go. Right off the bat, we've got the Lamborghini Pace car. I've already got several of those. I might buy a few more. There was another one in there as well. And I'm gonna have a hunt through here and see what we can find. We've got, ooh, the Zamac series, Hot Wheels, the muscle car Zamac series. There's eight cars in the set. I've already got this set, so I think we'll pass on those. And check it out. It's the new Fast and Furious Hot Wheels set. There is the 70 Chevelle SS. And, ooh, my favorite of the bunch, the Lamborghini Murcielago. Check it out. Orange with the black wheels beautiful looking car and what else do we have in here as i almost drop it the 2009 nissan gtr in silver from fast five great looking casting there is six in total looks like i need to find the skyline the s2k and also the ford gt here's the s2k the honda s2000 pink one this one's from too fast too furious i'll have to pick that one up as well lots of lamborghinis lots of extras down here you can see someone else had already put a bunch aside i think i'm gonna grab several of the lamborghinis just because it's one of my favorite castings and i'm gonna have a look through here and see if we can find find any others of them and i'll see if i can find that nissan let's see oh there we go there we go there we go we got one nissan skyline that black one i think this is going to be the most popular casting within this series being that it's a jdm and jdm cars are just so popular right now looks like i only see the one right now might be able to find another one we'll have another quick look through all the cars and check out this place that it's the hot wheels ultimate garage that big shark in the middle got a whole new display of those and here's some more cars as well it looks like uh, let's see what we can find in here always looking for more super treasure hunts we'll see if we can grab one of those check it out it's the red Ford GT with the white stripes. This is such a beautiful casting. I think I've already got that, so we'll put that aside for now. We've got the GoPro zoom in car. There's the bone shaker as well. That's just the non-super of it. And what else do we have back here? The red M2 as well. And what else? We got a custom Maverick. I love this color with the gold wheels on it. Looks fantastic. Let's see what else we have around in here. Yeah, uh, it's always a quick good look and we'll go on to the other side right here We'll find some 20 packs as well And these ones look like some fairly new 20 packs check it out. This one has the veneno in it There's the NSX. Uh, we've got the couple of nice looking cars. I love this veneno I've already got it though So we'll put that pack aside and oh check this one out down here We've got the Porsche 917 LH the 4 GT. We've got some other nice cars in here what else do we have down here? Another one with the Veneno in it, another Acura NSX, the Honda Civic, and what is this? This Hot Wheels City playset. Check out that big shark on there. Shark Beach Battle. That's an interesting playset. We've got a couple of those. More 20 packs over here. Lots of more interesting cars in them. Oh, there's the Porsche 918 Spider, the red variation. That one's in a 20 pack now as well. There's that new Mustang as well, the new Corvette. Those are all uh, 2018 P case cars. So those are some nice ones and what else do we have back here We've got some more customs more of the monster trucks and these ones are i think are pretty cool the mega rex and we've got some very similar ones to ones that were previously licensed as monster jam cars and you know what i'm, I'm no i might have to pick some of these up maybe not today but they've always got some new different monster trucks and i love the monster trucks i've got so many of them but they're so fun to play with and we'll head on over to the aisle and it looks like we've got a good amount of hot wheels and different cars we'll check out the mainline variations first there's another one of the red 4 GTs. There's the Hellcat, the new color variation. And what else? We've got some 50th anniversary cars. Uh, what else do we have? Ooh, there's the Countach Pace car, another one of those. Love that casting. Oh, check this out. We've got the 67 Mustang Zamac edition. I really, really love the new Zamac cars. We'll definitely have to pick that one up. Let's have a look over here, see what else we can find. 
I don't know what the M2s. Oh, there's another one of the Zaymax of the uh, muscle car series. And we'll check out what else we can find. Nothing else. Let's go ahead and move on down the aisle. Looks like we've got some of the Mopar set cars. I've already got this set, but I'm always looking for extras that I like. The Power Wagon is always a popular one. Be fun to have another one of those. There's the eight cars from that set. But I think we'll pass on all those ones that are up there right now. Let's head on down the aisle and see what else we can find. Lots of the DC cars, Star Wars cars, more of the Monster Jam cars. There they are, Monster gem series are the original ones these are the non new ones so they're just trying to get rid of and do that transition over to the new monster trucks and then we've got some matchbox cars a couple of jeeps this one's kind of interesting this has got some cool looking camo on there jeep compass i don't have that one and we'll check out the matchbox cars quickly i'm still looking for the mazda cx5 and the bmw i8 two castings from matchbox that i really want so we'll have a quick through here and doesn't look like they're in there no can't see any there so we'll pass on those we'll go on down we've got this oh this range rover looks pretty cool range rover evoke i think it is and then we've got this coca-cola m2 truck check that out these are becoming popular all these coca-cola cars there's a whole bunch of them here 50s beverage truck have a coke very very cool let's see what other ones they have Another one of the 50s one, this one with the different riding on the actual back of the truck. And we've got a couple of other different ones back here. We've got this bootlegger one and we'll move on down. We've got, oh, here we go. Look, check this out. There's the transformer set. Ooh, a Supra, very cool. JDM tuner Supra. And then we've got these just trucks and we'll go on down here and see what else we can find. There's more of the Coca-Cola cars. These ones are the single variations. There's a bunch of trucks and stuff like that for those Coca-Cola cars. These ones are cool. Uh, not really my thing to collect, but definitely I can see why a lot of collectors will like these Coca-Cola cars. This one's really cool. Ford Echoline van as I drop cars here. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pass on those. We'll have a look at that. those trucks. Here we go. Uh, nothing much that I really like. We'll move on down the aisle. What is this? Robert Knight? This is oh, Robert Height, maybe? And it's a funny car, dragster funny car. That's interesting. I haven't seen something like this before. We used to see drag and funny cars and Hot Wheels way back, but now we've got some different manufacturers making them. And check out this Cars 3 transporter truck. And this one's got all these little mini cars in there, and it looks like it opens up and Look at that little Lightning Queen. And there's an NSX from that JDM Tuner series just sitting down here. This is a really nice one. Red with the spoiler on there. Black wheels. That one's really cool. Type R. Hmm. We'll pass on that. What is this? Here we go. We've got the Travel Treads Hauler. And what is this? This is like a, a monster truck with small wheels, but then there's big wheels that connect to it. I really don't know much about this. Monster Jam. And it opens up and you can shoot the car out. I don't know. If you guys know anything about these or if you guys have one of these, let me know in the comments down below. Let's check out what we have down here. We've got the Lycan Hypersport from the Furious 7 movie. Ooh, this is a very cool looking car. I think this is a remote control. I'm not too sure. Check out, ooh, check out these little Maisto design little haulers. Wow, this one's really cool too. Maisto flatbed. And what else do we have down here? There's a big semi truck with a hauler on there. There's another one, the Maisto ones. Ooh, these are really, really cool, really collectible. It's kind of like the Porsche one that I got way back. I still haven't opened that one up. And we've got this one. This one looks like it's a bone shaker type of vehicle on there as well. And down here we've got, check out these Batmobiles with the little Batman character. Wow, those are pretty cool. The TV one. Ooh, Boss 429, little model casting as well. Check that out. That one's really neat. And we've got this little truck down here. This little red truck, and it looks like a nice matte finish paint job. Just trucks, 55 Chevy step side, and it's got the little wheels there. And we'll put that aside. There's a Cobra. There's another Lycan Hypersport. This one in black. Love the Lycan Hypersport. Very cool looking car. And we've got this remote control Hellcat back here. Check that out. And we've got another one of the Boss Mustangs. There's another remote control car. That And what is this? Ooh, 67 Chevy Camaro. That one's all nice blacked out wheels on that. That one's really neat. And we've got this uh, Plymouth Barracuda. That one's really nice too. What is this, a little Mustang, GT500. These are really cool. I mean, they're not really my thing to collect, so I think we'll kind of 
pass on those and we'll move on to the next aisle and check it out. Don't miss it when you're walking down the end of an aisle. We've got another Hot Wheels display with more cars and we'll have a quick look through here. Looks like it's been pretty dug through. Doesn't look like there's a lot in here. So I think we'll pass on all of these. Peak Timers, we're back inside of my car and let me show you all the stuff that I found. There's some really cool stuff and I'm going to start going down earlier to this Walmart. I feel like it was a fresh restock of stuff that if I went maybe in the afternoon, I wouldn't have found. So let me show you all the stuff that I found. I'm just going to pull out stuff at random. So when I was digging through uh, the little stack that you saw the, in the middle there, we found white McLaren P1, found the Porsche 918 Spider, we found a Skyline R30 and a 720S. I have all these ones already, but these are some of my favorite castings from this year. So I decided to pick some more of those up and let's see what else we got in here. I did find a P case car, which I was actually shocked to see. This was one of the only P case cars I saw in there. And this is the brand new color variation of the Corvette C7 Z06. So check that one out. Very, very nice color of that one. And the only matchbox car that I did buy is the black BMW i3. I have the, it's, I think it's a white or a silver. I can't remember exactly matchbox variation, but I found this one in black. So we'll collect that one. I still haven't found the i8, which is one that I'm really trying to get my hands on, but we'll, we'll find that one eventually. And here we go. Some of the fast and furious cars that I did find. So the 70 Chevelle SS, very nice one. Uh, this is probably the most collectible one of the bunch for most people, which is the Nissan Skyline, that black Nissan Skyline. Personally, uh, it's okay. It's not my favorite of the bunch. Uh, there's the GTR. I picked that one up as well. And then we got the Honda S2000. Check it out. The Fast and Furious S2000. I, I, I like this one. I don't know what it is. The Too Fast, Too Furious car. I remember seeing this one in the movie and it looked so cool. And of course we did get, I'm going to pull some more out here. We did get uh, several of the Lamborghini Murcielagos. Obviously me being an exotic car fan, these are the ones that I really was looking forward to and really wanted. So I think I bought but, uh, I think about like four of them or so just a couple to open up couple to collect um, but yeah so let's see what else I got here Oh, there we go. We got uh, another one of the Skylines. I picked up a couple of those, one to open, one to collect. Uh, most of them I did get doubles of um, in here. If I got a bunch more doubles, I won't show you all the doubles of them, but we did get also this one, which was quite rare. It's the 67 Mustang, the Fastback Mustang in the Zamac edition. So that one, I was shocked to see you guys saw me see that on the top peg there. That was a really cool one. What else do we have in here? I'll grab the last few that I have in here out. So we got... Uh, the purple Nissan Skyline GTR R33. That one's a really neat one. Have that one already, but really like that casting. Another one of the Murcio Lagos. Uh, so we'll collect another one of those. And also I found a couple of these, the Miria Homage Aventadors. Um, I've got lots of these, but uh, this is probably my favorite recolor of 2018. So I seem to be buying as many of these ones as I can. I just, I don't know, I'm gonna throw them into my collection. I really, really like this casting. And I know they're supposed to be releasing them in some new colors. Um, I guess not this year, cause I haven't seen them this year. And in the, the P and Q case, there's not in there. And the last but not least, another one of the Murcio Lagos from the Fast and Furious set. So I'm quite happy with the cars that I found. There's, uh, I'm really happy finding the Fast and Furious set. Maybe I didn't get the, the complete set. I'm missing the, which one am I missing? The GT40. That's the one that I didn't see in there. So I saw uh, the S2000, the Skyline, the GTR, the Mercy Lago, the SS Chevelle. It's just the GT40 that we didn't get. So there's the GT40 right there. So maybe we'll find that one and that'll complete this up. But until then, I'm happy that I found all these cars. What's up, Peak Timers? We've got the brand new Fast and Furious 6 car set. Let's go ahead, unbox them, get a closer look at them, and then race them down the track. There's a total of six really cool cars in this set. Let's start it off with the Honda S2000. This cool looking pink Honda S2000 was driven by Suki in Too Fast, Too Furious. Let's go ahead and open it. This 1970 Chevelle SS was driven by Dominic Toretto in Fast and Furious, the fourth movie. <music> Car
car number three of six is the Ford GT40 driven by Mia Toretto in Fast Five. Car number four of six is the Nissan Skyline driven by Brian O'Connor in Fast Five. Car number five of six is the 2009 Nissan GTR, also driven by Brian O'Connor in Fast Five. And last but not least, car number six of six, the Lamborghini Murcielago, driven by Roman Pierce in The Fate of the Furious. Now that all six cars are unboxed, let's head on over to the track to find out which one's the fastest. All right guys, we're at the track and we'll do our tournament head-to-head -head drag race style. Our first two cars are gonna be the Ford GT against the Chevelle, and then we've got our next pairing and our next pairing right there. Let's find out, winner moves on to the finals. The finals will be three car winner takes all race. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. And the Chevelle takes race number one, edging out the GT40. Too bad, GT40, you are eliminated. And our next pairing is all set. It's the Honda S2000 versus the Nissan Skyline. Let's find out who's gonna move on. On your mark, get set, go! And our last pairing before the finals, we've got the Nissan GTR versus the Lamborghini Murcielago. This is gonna be a great matchup. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. And the Lamborghini Murcielago just edges out the Nissan GTR to take the win and move on to the finals. The losing cars will look on as we are all set for our final race. The Chevelle versus the S2000 versus the Lamborghini Murcielago. Here we go. One winner takes all. On your mark, get set, go! Doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile, the Honda S2000 just barely edges out the Chevelle and the Lamborghini Murcielago and takes the win and is the champion of the Fast and Furious set. Congratulations Honda S2000 and this was a fantastic set. I love all of those cars in this set. Smash that thumbs up if you like Fast and Furious and I'll catch you guys on the next one. What's up Peak Timers, Phil here from Peak Time Racing. In this video, we're going to open up and review the Fast and Furious Fast Stars Premium 5 Cars Set. The five cars included in this set are the Mitsubishi Eclipse, 92 Ford Mustang, Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk, Dodge Charger, and W Motors Lycan Hypersport. And the first car that will open up from the Fast and Furious Fast Stars set 
is the Mitsubishi Eclipse. And this is, of course, Brian O'Connor or Paul Walker's Mitsubishi Eclipse from the starting scene of the very first Fast and Furious movie. Let's go ahead and open it up, get a nice close up look at this gorgeous Mitsubishi Eclipse right here. Premium cars, so obviously all of the cars that we are gonna see today will have the real riders on here, as you can see right in the bottom right there. A nice looking green with the gray wheels on there with the spokes on them. We look at the front, we can see the carbon fiber hood, very, very glossy, nice looking carbon fiber hood. Good details on the front end right there. We've got that very, very classic paint job on the side of it. And as well as that continues right on the top right there, we've got a big spoiler on the back of it as well. Very, very nice looking. And if we look right here on the rear, we can see all the details for the lights and all of that. We've got the exhaust down there as well, but just an overall, just a very, very cool looking car. It's just one of the best Fast and Furious cars. It's such a classic. And obviously this one did explode or caught in fire on the very first starting scene of Fast and Furious, but such a great, great looking car. And car number two of five is the 92 Ford Mustang. And this one is the fastback edition of the Mustang right here. You can see just that big cowl hood on the front of it. Let's go ahead and open it up. This one will have some big rear slicks on it as well. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Very, very nice looking from the start right here. And you can see just how big those rear tires are. There's those big uh, thick slicks on there for drag racing and we got like the little thinner ones on the front right there we do have the dual exhaust on the back of it as well. Good details for those back rear lights. And there is that kind of fast back design. I like this this blue color. It's almost like a tealish blue color. We do have the 5.0 right there on the side. Very classic for this model year of Mustangs. And there is that front end of the Mustang. Very, very cool. Just check out that big cow hood on there. Looks absolutely amazing. I love the like matte finish that they have right here. So you can see that very, very nicely. And then the black interior on this one. But a great Great looking Mustang from this Fast Stars, Fast and Furious set. And car number three of five is the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. So this one is with the big supercharged V8 in there. And you can see the aggressive stance of this one. Great looking wheels on that picture. And let's go ahead and open it and see what this one looks like right here. And wow, that is such a cool looking car. So I haven't seen just like a main, I don't know if we got a mainline edition of a Grand Cherokee before, but it looks very, very cool. I love the wheels. I think the wheels on this one just make it look so much better. Just oh, I love the blacked out wheels on there. Great looking front end, great looking details of this Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. You can see right there. Doesn't have tinted windows on there. Would have liked to see tinted windows on the back. We got the nice big sunroof on there, the moonroof right there. We got great details on the rear end. Look at that quad exhaust hips as well. Real riders, of course, as we do with all of these cars right here. But overall, just a very, very nice, aggressive looking Jeep, the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. And car number four of five is the Dodge Charger. And this one is completely matte finished out. Really, really like that matte finished paint job. Let's go ahead and open this one and see what it's all about right here. Check it out. Very, very aggressive stance on this one. Big rear tires on there. You can see like how the indentation of these wheels, you just know these are just giant wheels. It's a resto mod car, which is what they call it. So it'd be like a customized uh, old muscle car or hot rod. We got the chrome interior on there. And then if we look in the back right there, We've got, looks like we've got the engine in the back as well. Very, very cool. We've got the RT badging on the back right there and just that nice stripe that comes down. And this is a very, very cool matte finish paint job on there. So it feels really, really nice. Very heavy looking car or very heavy feeling car, I should say. And we can see the lights on the back of it. Great details for those lights. And then on the front end, we've got that big chrome grill on the front end. For this Dodge Charger, just a classic car. We've seen lots of different Dodge Chargers in Fast and Furious movies obviously the first one Dom's Charger was one of the most popular ones and I think this one I'm, I'm not I think it was the fourth movie or so that uh, one like this came out in but just a very very nice looking car and car number five of five is the W Motors Lycan Hypersport this one was a very popular car in the later Fast and Furious movies and just check it out check out that very very rare in real life I think it's they only made like seven of these in real life 
um, made in Dubai. Very, very popular cars over there, but uh, just super, super rare and expensive. And this one, I mean, this is the supercar of the set. We had an import, we had some muscle. Now we've got the supercar, I guess you'd call it a hypercar maybe, like in hyper sports. But there it is in red, very, very nice red, very glossy, it's got that shine to it. Just all the aggressive cuts and slots to this car just make it look very, very cool. I mean, you, it looks like Spider-Man's car. You can see, like, look at the back right there. Just look at all the angles of this car, even if we look on the rear end. So many different angles of this car. Blacked out wheels look excellent on it as well. And just a very, very cool headlight design. You can see that. Just look at it from that angle. Doesn't that look awesome? Like in Hypersport, we do have the real riders on there, of course, with all of these cars right here, but just an absolutely amazing looking hyper car. One of the coolest cars in the Fast and Furious movies. And that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. What an amazing five car premium set. In the comment section down below, let me know which one of these cars was your favorite. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. What's up, Peak Timers? This is the brand new Hot Wheels Premium Fast and Furious Quarter Mile Muscle Set. Let's go ahead and get a closer look at them and then of course, we'll race them down the quarter mile. Our first car is the 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle SS. And we'll go ahead and first get a look at the back of the card right here. This is the Chevelle SS and these are the rest of the cars that are included. There's only five cars for this set and they are a premium casting so they will all have real riders on them and they're a little bit heavier, they're a full metal body. So here it is, the Chevelle SS. Let's go ahead and pop it open off the card right here. And there it is. So more premium paint job on here as well as got that metal base on there and there is your real riders on there as well. But this one looks fantastic. Those kind of torque thrust wheels on it, they look great. Great tampa work on the back. The front, great, great detail. So these premium cars will run you approximately five to six dollars in any US store. But I think this one looks fantastic. A great start to this set. And car number two is also a 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle SS. This one obviously in a different color because there was two different colored variation ones in the movies. This one is more of like a matte finish gray on there. Let's go ahead and pop it open and get a close up look at it. And yes, this one's definitely a more matte finish compared to the glossy red finish that we saw in the previous one. And you can see it's just a really good high quality paint job on here. Those nice wheels, I love these wheels. They just look so good on muscle cars. And there it is from the back. Got a little bit of tempo detail on there as well. And then from the front, great detail for it. You can tell these are definitely worth it. They're a higher quality car than your mainline Hot Wheels. And car number three of five, one of my favorites from this set is the 1977 Pontiac Firebird TA, which stands for Trans Am, of course. There it is. It looks like the Smokey and the Bandit car, if you guys are familiar with that one. Let's go ahead and pop it open. I love the detail on this. Check out that big Trans Am symbol on the hood right there. Great looking headlights and stuff from the front. Also from the side, very glossy. This one does have the T-tops, which is very, very traditional for these types of cars. And check out the wheels and tires on there. Great looking wheels on there from the back. Nice tampa work. I'm very, very impressed with this set so far. It's a very highly detailed set. Great looking from the bottom. There's those tires as well. Metal base, of course. And car number four of five, the 1967 Chevrolet Camaro. Very, very cool looking in that nice orange color. Check out the artwork on there, great looking. All right, let's open it up. And this one does sound like it's got the opening hood on there, so let's go ahead and pop that hood open right away. There it is, there's that nice big engine sitting in there. A nice little touch of detail for this one. And then we've got the nice stripe on the front right there. And from the side, check it out. Just looks like an absolute beast of a car. Got the cool wheels on there. The Camaro logo right down there. 
Good detail on the back of it and then on the front of it as well. A little bit base for the front, kind of flat in this area right here, but that's uh, typical of the movie car. So they probably did that on purpose. There's your real rider tires on there as well, full metal base. And car number 505, the 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302. My personal favorite from the set. I just love the Boss Mustangs. And there it is in the white colored variation. Let's go ahead and pop it open right away. And this one I can already tell has some great detail. From the side of it, all white. So it kind of just blends all in nicely. But then we get to the front of it. Check out the detail of those lights right there. Isn't that awesome? Then we got the nice painted stripe on the front of it. We move to the back. We've got that cool looking spoiler. And then the great Mustang lights in the back. Good, good detail for it. And check out the small wheels and tires. But that's just how the car is supposed to be. The real riders, of course, full metal base. A fantastic looking casting. And there is all five cars from the set. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite and also comment which one do you think is gonna win the quarter mile drag race on the track. I'll see you guys at the track. And here we are guys on the track. We've got the fast and furious quarter mile muscle cars all set up and ready to go. Who do you think is gonna take this one on the track? We'll do a best of three. First car to win two races gets the win. On your mark, get set, go. And in race number one, it is the Ford Mustang Boss 302 that gets the win. We'll see if he can finish them off right now or will we get a different winner. Here we go, race number two. On your mark, get set, go. What a great race for race number two. It is the Pontiac Firebird that just edges out the Mustang. It looked like the Mustang was gonna win, the Buff Firebird came back and took the win. Here we go, race number three. Will the Firebird or the Mustang get a win or will we get a different winner for our final deciding race? Let's find out right now. On your mark, get set, go. And it's a comeback win by the Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. What's up, big timers? Today we've got the brand new Fast and Furious off-road set. We've got five cars in the set. Let's go ahead, open them up, and get a close-up look at them. And here we are with car number one. We've got the Subaru Impreza WRX STI. Check out the livery on this one. Looks amazing. And there is your artwork on there. And it's one of five from the serious off-road as it specifies. This is a Hot Wheels premium set. And on the back, we'll look at this card so we can see all the different cars that are included with this set. But let's go ahead and unbox the Impreza WRX STI. We can get a nice close up look at this one. And obviously the one that I've been talking about with the livery on here that looks really, really cool. The speckle paint job on there as well. Nice blackened front end on it. The real rider tires on there. Great all around premium casting of the Subaru WRX STI. And moving on to car number two of five from this set, it's the 1991 Mercedes-Benz G-Class. You guys know how much I love Mercedes, especially these G-Class. Check out the artwork on there. Looks really neat. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. We can get a look at this one. I believe this one has like a matte finish paint job on there. It is. It's a very matte finish. Um, it's hard to tell. What is it like a kind of a greenish color? Nice big real riders on there. I like these like thick tires on there. Those look really, really neat. Add the to the touch of it. And there we go. We got the Mercedes Benz logo on the front. Good detail on the front of it. We move around to the back. We've got the even the little Mercedes Benz all written just right there on the spare tire on there. Really nice detail for this one. I really, really like this one. Mm -hmm. 
And car number three of five from the set is the Land Rover Defender 110 Hardtop. We've seen a lot of different Land Rovers come out from Hot Wheels lately, and this is definitely not a disappointment. This one is fantastic looking. Let's go ahead and take this one out and get a close up look at it as well. And this one, it also kind of has like a little bit of a matte finish on the side of it, but then it's got a nice glossy roof and it's actually a plastic roof on there, which is kind of interesting. We'll look to the back. I like the detail, very, very nice. Even the little details right there, the Land Rover from the side. And also this one has the nice, really big, thick tires on there, just like the G-Class had as well. Land Rover written on there, great detail on the front. These premium cars are just becoming just better and better each time they come out with these new sets of them. This one just looks great. And we move on to car number four of five. It is the 67 off-road Camaro. This looks like a jacked up raised Camaro with kind of the push bar on the front and back. Let's go ahead and pop it open. Get a look at this one here. And this one is featured in a silver color. It's a nice looking silver color, very very, not really sparkly or anything, but just kind of glossy looking. And there's that push bar on the back of it. Look at those big thick tires on there as well for off-roading. And in the front, we've got that cowl hood right there. And we've got the push bar on the front end as well. It's a very, very hardcore looking one. And even it's got this, uh, I'm not sure exactly what this is. I think that was like, was this out the window maybe for them to stand out of and shoot out of in the movie? Possibly. Correct me in the comments about that one, guys. But this one looks great. I like the Camaro as well. And last but definitely not least, we've got the Hummer H1. And I was a big Hummer H1 fan growing up. This one looks great. We've seen a lot of different Hummer H1 castings made by Hot Wheels. And uh, this might be one of the first premium ones. I'm not, can't really remember any premium castings before. It's kind of got that military-esque look to it. It's a little bit matte finish paint job on there. The big thick tires on there to go as most of these ones did have. We've got the Hummer on the back, nice detail on the back, the lights and all that. And on the front, we've got the big push bar on there as well. And check it out, wow, great detail. Love, love, love this one. Looks fantastic, Hummer H1. What's up, P-Timers? This is the brand new Fast and Furious Hot Wheels set. Let's go ahead and get a closer look at them and then we'll put them down a brand new Hot Wheels stunt track. And we'll start it off with our first car from the set. It is the Buick Grand National and this is from the fourth edition of the movie Fast and Furious, as you can see right there. I love the new card art on these cars. Check out like the kind of like color highlight that they have on these, very, very nicely detailed. We'll go ahead and look on the back of the first car just so we can see some of the cars that are included inside. There we go, we got all six cars you'll see today. Buick Grand National, one of my personal favorites just because growing up my dad actually owned a Buick Grand National in real life. So let's go ahead and unbox this one and get a closer look at this car. And this was in the intro of the fourth edition of the Fast and the Furious when they had the Buick Grand National. And wow, this thing looks so cool, so blacked out. If you're not familiar with this car, look it up online. It's a great, great car in real life. Very, very fast car made in the 80s. It's one of the true last muscle cars in the 80s. But Buick Grand National, great looking car. Car number two of six is the 1995 Mazda RX-7 in this gorgeous looking white color. Amazing artwork as you guys can see again right there. This is from the Fast and the Furious, the first movie. Let's go ahead and open this one up and get a close up look at this. If you're a Mazda RX-7 fan, this is definitely one to collect, especially in this beautiful looking white color as you can see right here. The HKS on the side, we got the little mini what is it, Yokohama, I think it's on there, but great looking in white. Not a lot of detail on the front, a little bit disappointing for the front tampa work, as well as the back, not a lot of detail and stuff like that. But from the side, it looks very, very cool. And car number three of six is the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution, a popular one that Paul Walker drove in Too Fast, Too Furious. Love the livery on this one. Looks fantastic, great looking artwork, of course. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. 
and there it is in that just an out there color and graphics all on the side right there the nice chrome five star wheels on there not a lot of tampa work on the front or back which is kind of a trend with this line i mean these are dollar 47 cars at walmart they're not premium by any means from the call cartridge series but great looking great looking car and we move on to car number four of six it is the 1970 monte carlo from fast and furious tokyo drift uh, ever so popular movie back then as well. Check out the nice kind of unfinished look on this one. Very, very cool, I like that, I like that. Let's go ahead and pop it open, get a close up look of that. And we had some muscle cars mixed in with the JDM cars for Fast and Furious. And you can see this one's kind of got that rustic look to it. Uh, not a lot of work on the tempo work on the front and as per the back, but still a pretty neat looking car, liking the blacked out wheels on this. And we move on to car number five of six, the Nissan 370Z. Loving it in the silver color with that blacked out hood on there. I guess it's kind of imitating like a carbon hood. Let's go ahead and get a closer look at that. Pop it open. This one is from Fast Five right there as you can see. And there we go. We've got, I love these black wheels on there. They look great with the chrome lip. And it is kind of like an imitation carbon fiber hood that they're trying to get away with there, but still looks pretty cool and again not a lot of tempo on the front and back but still uh, the front does have the headlights on there but I like the 370Z I think it's a cool looking car I'd love to see an update to this car in real life maybe like a 390Z or a 400Z that would be pretty cool And last but definitely not least, from the fate of the Furious, it is the 61 Chevrolet Impala. Big, long, red car. Love the faster than ever wheels on this one. Let's go ahead and pop it open, get a close up look at it. And very low rider-ish looking. I mean, obviously the, the Impalas were definitely popular for low riders, but this one, Love it with that white interior and that red. The nice pinstriping looks great. The big chrome grill, very fitting for this car. And on the back of it, not much as far as Tampa work goes, but still we can see the nice Impala lights on the back of it. This is a really cool one. I'm pretty excited to have this one. Comment down below guys, which one is your favorite car from this Fast and Furious set? Let's go ahead and head on over to our stunt track and do a little tournament to find out the fastest one. All right guys, we're on track and we're all set for race number one. We've got the Monte Carlo as well as the RX-7. They're going head to head down our brand new stunt track. Let's have a look at it. Go right down here through the double loops on the ramp, jump over and cross the line hopefully we'll see what happens here it's going to be an interesting setup let's get to race number one here we go on your mark get set go and it's the chevy monte carlo that takes the win and takes out the mazda rx7 and race number two is the Nissan 370Z versus the Buick Grand National. Let's see who crosses the finish line first and takes the win. On your mark, get set, go. And that Buick Grand National just catapults across the line and takes the win. Race number three is the Chevy Impala versus the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. And it's the Mitsubishi Lancer that takes the win and moves on to our next round. Well, there's three cars left, but only two spots on the track. Since we've got two muscle cars and one from Japan, let's go ahead and put the muscle cars up head to head. Figure out who takes this win. Whoever wins this race will move on to the final to face the Mitsubishi Evolution. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go. And the Buick Grand National takes the win and moves on to the finals. Our final race, Buick Grand National versus Mitsubishi Evolution. Let's see who takes the win and is our Fast and Furious stunt track champion. On your mark, get set, 
Go! What's up, Hot Wheelers? It's Fast and Furious time, and we've got the 2017 full eight set of Hot Wheels Fast and Furious cars. So let's get a closer look at them. All right, guys, so here is all eight cars from the 2017 newly released Hot Wheels Fast and Furious set. I've been looking forward to getting this one and I finally got it and there are some fantastic cars in this set. So let's go ahead and get a closer look at each one of them one by one and then we'll do a big tournament race in the track and we'll see which one of these ones is the Fast and Furious champion. All right, first car is the Honda S2000 from Fast and Furious and this is the Johnny Tran car, the S2000 that won that was really, really fast and souped up and this is a sweet looking S2000 from Honda. And on the back, I'll show you this one just because it does show all eight cars from the set, which we have, which I've showed you, which we're gonna unbox right now. So let's open this one up and get a closer look at it. All right, looks really cool with that black. And oh, look at the cool graphics on the side, the nice 10 spoke Hot Wheels wheels on there. And this one has that cool looking like hard top on it as well. And looked up the, the souped up back on there, the big wing spoiler on it. Very, very nice. Awesome red interior as well. All right, so there's the Johnny Tran S2000. Next up, we've got the Nissan Skyline GTR R34. This is from Too Fast, Too Furious. Let's open this one up and take a look. There it is, silver one, and it's got these cool stripes on the side. Uh, got the same wheels as the S2000. These are really nice wheels, I really like them. Uh, nice cool wing spoiler on there. The stock spoiler from Nissan Skyline. And look at the big cool scoops on the front of that as well. Very, very cool R34 Nissan Skyline GTR. All right, we'll put that one down. We'll go next up. Next up, we've got car number three. This is the Fast and the Furious. And uh, I think this is a Tokyo Drift, it looks like it could be. Um, I could be wrong, this just could be the Fast and the Furious, which uh, I think is uh, film number four, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner souped up muscle car. Let's open it up and get a closer look at it. And this one is a cool looking color. And then you can see on the back, it does say Hemi. So this is a Hemi Roadrunner. Very, very nice, very rare. In real life, it is very rare. And uh, look, look at the cool tan interior on there. And these black wheels look fantastic. Great looking muscle car. And this one is from the Fast and the Furious. All right, we'll put that one down. Next up, we've got car number four of the set, and this one is Fast and Furious Fast Five, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Crazy looking blue color from the GT3 RS. Awesome, awesome, let's open it up, get a closer look at it. There it is. Ooh, this one is a beauty. Gorgeous looking Porsche, it's got the mesh wheels on there. Uh, might look pretty bright in my lights here, it's hard to see for you guys, but uh, it is a nice cool looking blue color. Awesome, awesome, love this one. And that little uh, wing spoiler on there, looks kind of weird, it's almost like it's kind of further down than it should be, but that's okay. Still looks really cool. All right, we'll put that one down. Next up we've got Fast Five, we've got the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. Um, from Fast and the Furious, Fast Five. And this one is really nice, the old Corvette. Let's open it up, get a closer look. And this one is silver, open top Grand Sport Roadster, and it's got the cool staggered five-star wheels on there. Cool looking back end, look at those, it looks like bullet holes or something on the back of it. Awesome, love this one, this one looks so cool. All right, we'll put them down. Next up, we've got card number six from the series. This is Fast and Furious 6, and this is the 1970 Ford Escort RS 1600. 
cool looking artwork on there. Look at that, that's so cool. All right, let's open it up. And the RS, there it is. Ford Cosworth Power, chromed interior. Got these uh, cool looking like old school wheels on it. Uh, cool front end as well with those lights on there. That's nice how it shows. And it has the Hot Wheels logo on the side as well. Uh, really nice sparkly color to it as well. That's really cool. Great detail to it. All right, we'll put them down. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Furious 7. We've got the 94 Toyota Supra. Very, very cool. I know you guys love Toyota Supras. You guys always request to see Supras. So let's get a closer look at this one. Open it up. There it is, the white Supra mesh wheels on there and the nice cool looking big wing on the back. It's even got the, the detail of the Toyota logo to it. So that's pretty good, pretty cool. Very nice detail, I like this one. This one is, uh, even the lights on it on the front, that's so cool. They really thought these ones out uh, better than the standard cars. More, more detail to them, so very, very nice. The Supra. All right, last but not least, Furious 7, we've got the Subaru WRX STI, car number eight of eight from the set. And let's open it up. Subarus are awesome with their all-wheel drive. And this one with cool graphics on it. Look at that. Awesome color, the, the blacked out hood, and then it's got the black stripe and the silver filling underneath. And uh, those cool uh, 10 star wheels, but these ones are nice and grayed out. Very, very nice. And on the back as well, it's got this little thing, doesn't really do much. WRX STI, very, very nice. All right, guys, those are the eight from the 2017 Fast and Furious set. We're gonna head on over to the track and we're gonna do a tournament race and we're gonna find out which one is the fastest. Let's head on over to the track. I'll see you at the track right now. All right guys, we're at the track and I've randomized four cars. So we got these four racing right now and we've got those four racing the second race. The top two cars will go into the final race and we'll find out who the fast and furious champion is. So here we go, race number one. On your mark, get set, go. And our race one winner is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Fantastic run beating out those three. But now we've got race number two. We're gonna find out who is gonna go join the Porsche in the final championship race. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go. And the Ford Escort takes the win in race number two. So now we've got the Ford Escort versus the Porsche 911 GT3 RS in our final race. Let's find out who the Fast and Furious champion is. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go. Hey guys, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS is your Fast and Furious champion. Kind of ironic because Fast and Furious is based a lot on the imports and the muscle cars, but it's the German rival, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS that takes the win and is your 2017 Fast and Furious drag race champion. It's race day and we've got the best track 
were the fast and furious cars that are gonna hit the track in a big race tournament. Make yourself an official peak timer by hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to turn those notifications on so you don't miss an upcoming video. For our first race, our first car is the fast and furious Tokyo Drift Nissan 350Z. From Fast 5, the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. From Fast and Furious 6, the 1970 Dodge Charger RT. From Fast and Furious, the 4th edition, the Subaru WRX STI. And our last contender in race number 1 is the Fast and Furious 6 Ford Escort RS 1600. And here we go, cars are all lined up for race number 1. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> And our race one winner is the 1970 Dodge Charger RT. For race number two, from Fast and Furious, the fourth edition 1970 Chevelle SS. Also from the fourth Fast and Furious, the Buick Grand National. From the Fate of the Furious, the Mercedes AMG GT. From Too Fast, Too Furious, the Honda S2000. And our last contender for race number two from Fast and Furious 7, the Toyota Supra. Race number two cars are all set, lined up, revving their engines, ready to go. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> And our race winner is the Toyota Supra from Fast and Furious 7. For race number 3, our first car from Fast and Furious 7, the 1970 Dodge Charger. Our next car from Fate of the Furious, the Lamborghini Murcielago. From Fast 5, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. From the original Fast and the Furious, the Honda S2000. Also from the original Fast and the Furious, the 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. Race number three cars are set and all ready to go. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> And it's the Porsche 911 GT3 RS that takes the win and joins the Supra and the Charger for our finals. Our first car for race number four is the Ice Charger from Fate of the Furious. Our next car is the Toyota Supra from Too Fast, Too Furious. After that, it's the Nissan Skyline from Fast Five. Then we've got the 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona from Fast and Furious 6. Our final car for race number four is the Ford GT from Fast Five. And here they are, all set and ready to go. Go. On your mark, get set, go! And our race winner from Fate of the Furious is the Ice Charger. And our last five cars before the finals, first we have the Fast and Furious 7 Subaru WRX STI. Then we've got the Fast 5 Nissan GTR. From Too Fast, Too Furious, the Nissan Skyline R34 GTR. From Fast 5, the 4 GT. And last but not least, the Fate of the Furious Ice Charger with the bullet holes. Cars are all lined up, set, ready to go. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> And we've got another Ice Charger in the finals. This time it's the Bullet Holes Ice Charger from Fate of the Furious. And our finalists are all set. Let's see who is our fastest Hot Wheels Fast and Furious car. They're all lined up at the starting grid. Here we go. On your mark, get set, 
And our grand champion is the fate of the furious ace charger with the bullet holes. Let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite Hot Wheels Fast and Furious car. What's up Hot Wheelers? Today I've got the Fast and Furious 8 car set. This is the complete set that I purchased online and uh, it's got some great cars to it. All the awesome Fast and Furious cars. So what we're gonna do is, you know what? A lot of people collect them. What do I do? I open them. Uh, we're gonna open these up and then we're gonna put them down our track to see which one's the fastest. Uh, so let's do it one by one. Put them aside here right now. We'll start with uh, probably my favorite one of the bunch. Um, it's the Buick Grand National. And uh, this was, I believe, in the fifth movie, Fast and Furious. Um, and it's a great looking car, I love it. So um, my dad actually owned one of these growing up as well, so that's why I'm kind of partial to it. Uh, let's open it up, actually let's look at the back so you can see. Oh, this one's kind of ripped already, that's okay, we're opening it up anyways. But you can see all the different uh, models included in this set. There we go, uh, let's open it up. I'll get a closer look. And it's got some extra plastic protection on the back, which uh, cars usually don't have, which is cool. Throw the packaging aside and look at that black beauty. Wow, love this car. Awesome looking Hot Wheels car. Gotta be one of my favorite in recent memory, Buick Grand National. Looks absolutely amazing. I love those blacked out wheels on it too. Nice gloss black finish. There we go. All right, we'll put that one up here, leave it there, and we'll go to the uh, Subaru WRX STI. You can see, and that one's right there. And let's open this one up as well. No back protector on this one. And this one's definitely a lowered out car. Oops, it's got some packaging still on it. WRX, looks awesome. Kind of like a half matte finish, half silver finish on it. And matte finish roof. It's kind of a different matte finish. You can almost see like lines on it too, which is kind of weird. It's all good. Looks awesome though. All right, put that one down. And uh, Ford GT40, I uh, can't remember. I don't know which one this one was in, but this is an original GT40. It's not the new Ford GT. So can't remember, you guys can correct me or, or let me know which movie this one was on. I should go back and rewatch all the Fast and Furious movies. It's my favorite series. Uh, there we go. Blue one stands out perfectly. Looks good in my lighting here. You can see those, those doors that in real life would open up. Not on this one, obviously, it's just a little Hot Wheels. Uh, looks great in that uh, blue color though, and those big chrome wheels. And that's your original GT40. Getting to be a more popular car now that uh, the new Ford GT is just released, and uh, that's coming up in lots of races as well. All right, put the Ford GT40 down. And we've got the uh, 69 Dodge Charger Daytona. Beautiful, and that one on the back with the big rear wing. Let's go ahead and open this one up. And this one has that little nice protective plastic on the back, which the Grand National had. Look at that wing. Boom, huge rear wing. Look at those nice uh, five spoke wheels on them as well. Very cool. This is a long Hot Wheels car too. <laughs> With that nose that kind of sticks out. It's a big car. I like it, looks great. I like muscle cars. Sound awesome, look aggressive. Dodge Charger Daytona. All right, we'll go to the next one is the 72 Ford Gran Torino Sport. 
and uh, that one's right there. Let's open it up. And this one's got that protective plastic. It's kind of odd that some of them do, some of them don't, just the way they, they put them in there. Uh, nice looking color on this one. Chromed out interior. Looks like it's lowered. Big, nice staggered speckled wheels on there. Cool bottom too. That's different. That's a cool looking Hot Wheels though. I don't know how fast this is going to be down the track. Maybe it will be. Maybe the lowered aerodynamics might help. Who knows? All right, put that one out there. And uh, we got the Nissan 350Z. It's got all the different things on it. Paint job. That one's got the plastic bit. And that's a cool, like a, I don't know what, what you would call that paint here. What even color you would call this? Gray, maybe? Green, it's almost like a kind of flat, but not really. Big body kit on there, big wing on it. Look at that dual exhaust, big dual exhaust output on there too. With that cool lowered body kit on there, looks looks cool. Awesome hood too. I like this one. All right, put that one down. Uh, we'll save the we'll, we'll save the best for last. Uh, we got the uh, seventy Dodge Charger RT. And uh, this one raced up against the last car. You'll find out what that last car is in a second. And this is from Fast and Furious 6. Actually, technically this one, if it's from 6, it, it wasn't the one that raced against the last car. Um, this is uh, Dom's flat black decked out. And this is a really, really cool color. I like this, uh, this matte to it. Looks awesome. Big engine. Boom. Chromed out interior, fat thing. This should look cool down the track. Fast and Furious style. All right, last but not least, the Toyota Supra. Um, this one's the Too Fast, Too Furious one, but made more popular probably um, in the first movie. Paul Walker racing it. There we go. Oh, the plastic bits on the inside top. So maybe they just changed it around on some of them. There we go. There's that Supra big wing on there. Front spoiler on there. Kind of small wheels for uh, for it, but uh, that's okay. It might work well on track. We will see. Cool looking series though. All right, guys, put that one down. I'll move these all up maybe or move them in fours here so you guys can see them all um but uh those are your eight hot wheels fast and furious uh series eight pack and uh now we're gonna find out which one's the fastest so we're gonna move this right over to the track all right guys we're on the track we've got the eight hot wheels cars and i've split them up four and four randomly selected and then we're gonna do a race of these four versus these four and uh, then the winner, the two top cars from each race are gonna move on and we'll do a third race, which will be the final with four top cars. And actually we'll split these ones up evenly here. Okay, so we've got the Supra, uh, the Ford, uh, what is this again? I can't even remember. Uh, Gran Torino Sport, uh, the Grand National, the Charger. Uh, all right, so let's go. Race number one, I'll be right back for cameras. All right, camera set, cars ready to go. Here we go, race number one, Fast and Furious. One, two, three. All right, guys, for race number one, it is the Supra and the Charger. It's Paul Walker versus Vin Diesel. Uh, we've got the two fastest ones. Sorry, Grand National, my favorite out of the bunch is already eliminated. 
Um, okay, we've got these ones up now. So we've got the Subaru WX STI, uh, Dodge Charger Daytona. Uh, oh, sorry, my bad. This is uh, the Nissan 350Z. A Dodge Charger Daytona and there is the Subaru WX STI and the Ford GT. All right, we've got these four set. Cameras are all set, ready to go. Here we go, Fast and Furious race number two. On your mark, get set, go. All right, guys, race number two. The winner is the Subaru WRX STI, and second place was the Ford GT. So we've got uh, two imports and two American cars, Ford GT, Subaru WRX, STIs, Toyota Supra, and Dodge Charger. And we are set for the final race for Fast and Furious. Who's going to be the fastest? Here we go. On your mark, get set. And there we have it, your winner. It is Vin Diesel slash Dom's Dodge Charger. One with the big engine, the flat black paint job. This is an amazing looking Hot Wheels car and it is the fastest of the Hot Wheels series. Uh, so we've got a series winner uh, from an, a little set, eight, eight set. So maybe we'll put some eight set winners against each other. We've got a couple more eight sets coming up. But uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, throw me a like if you appreciate this video. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, of course. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. What's up, Peak Timers? Welcome to today's Hot Wheels Tournament. Today, we've got a loop-style head-to-head tournament between Team Mario and Team Fast and Furious. Let me know in the comments down below which team are you picking to win this tournament. For race number one, we've got Yoshi versus the 1974 Escort RS 1600. And here they are, all set, race number one. On your mark, get set, go! And the Fast and Furious Ford Escort takes the win in race number one. Race number two, we've got Luigi versus the Nissan Skyline GTR R34. And they are all set, on your mark, get set, go! And Luigi takes the win in race number two. We've got Bowser versus the Ice Charger. These tough machines are all set. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. and Bowser gets caught in the loop and crashes. And it's the Ice Charger that takes the win in race number three for the Fast and Furious team. We've got Mario versus the Lamborghini Murcielago. These two fast machines are all set. On your mark, get set, go. Mario crashes at the finish line, but still manages to catch the light and take the win. We've got Princess Peach versus the Honda S2000. And the pink cars are all ready. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go. And Princess Peach takes the win for Team Mario. For race number six, we've got Toad versus the Dodge Charger. Here they are, on your mark, 
Get set. Go! What a race! Toad crashes at the loops and the Charger comes across the line and celebrates its win with a flip. We're all tied up. We've got three Mario cars and three Fast and Furious cars. Let's see the deciding race on who takes the win and the championship. And our final race is Donkey Kong versus the Toyota Supra. And here they are on the track, our deciding race. Who's gonna be the champion? Is it gonna be Team Mario or Team Fast and Furious? On your mark, get set, go! What's up, Big Timers? Today we're going to unbox and get a close up look at the brand new Fast and Furious Premium 5 car set. This video has been brought to you by GranaToys.com. GranaToys is the one that supplied this premium five car set. And if you guys wanna pick up your own, make sure you check out the links in the description down below. On the back of each card, you'll see the actual main car in the top left corner and then the other four remaining cars. Car number one is the Nissan Skyline GTR BNR34. Car number two of five is the Nissan Silvia S15. Car number three of five is the 1970 Ford Escort RS 1600. Car number four of five, my personal favorite of this set, the Lamborghini Gallardo LP570-4 Superleggera. And last but not least, car number 5 of 5, the Nissan Skyline GTR BNR32. Let me know in the comments down below which was your favorite car from this five car set and don't forget to smash that thumbs up and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye.